Hey there guys, uh, today's going to be a bit of a different video today, um, I've gone fishing a few times over the week and the weekend and um, haven't really caught anything, I think uh, winter's finally caught up to us. Yeah, so we'll focus on a couple other different projects until um, the fish are starting biting again. We'll go down to Bunnings, we'll go get some soil and some plants and we'll uh, start this veggie patch. I ended up grabbing truss tomatoes, roma tomatoes and some cheap basil from the $3 section. I did record the process of finding the cheaper tomatoes and basil, um, but I ended up putting in time lapse by accident so it was pretty much not usable. Usually the difference between the $3 tomatoes and the $6 tomatoes is just a couple of weeks of growth. For soil, I usually just grab whatever Bunnings has the cheapest. Usually it's a $3 Brunnings stuff. And I also grab a bag of good stuff to mix it in with. I usually feed my plants a little bit of organic plant food just to help them give that extra kick. This ensures the plants that grow nice and healthy and produce lots of fruit. This is the other potting mix that I've chosen. It's got a little bit of blood and bone in it so it will help the plants grow nice and strong. The seeds that I've chosen is snow peas, all year round lettuce, and cherry tomatoes. This is our first garden bed. It's made out of treated pine. It's wet treated um, fence paling. Um, with wet treated wood, um, specifically fence paling posts and sleepers, um, you want to have some type of barrier between the treated wood and the soil otherwise the treatment may seep into the soil um, ideally builders plastic would have been good to use but I've only got um, weed fabric uh, weed plastic um, that'll do for this situation so um, so I've got that one there set up and I've got one on the other side here this garden bed has a bit of a rail for it so all the climbers for the snow peas would be able to grow up to it making it a lot easier to uh, manage
that's a garden beds all installed. Uh, let's give it a water in and let them settle in. Before we head off, I'm just going to put a little bit of the Seals 5-in-1 organic plant food. Um, I find it gives it an extra little boost, um, which they may, may need now that they've been transplanted into some soil. It uh, just gives them a little bit of a shock. Um, so let's do the best we can to help your plants grow. To mix this one, it's just two capfuls. Give it a good shake and then put two capfuls in. And then just fill your watering can to three litres. Hey there guys, well that one's all done, we've installed the both garden beds, put in some soil and some seedlings, um, and some seeds as well. So that would be awesome to enjoy that in a um, month or two's time, um, we can have some tomatoes and all that. If you enjoyed this video, uh, let us know in the comments, um, be doing a few more videos like this just until it starts warming up, or until it gets to fishing season. Um, at the moment the fish aren't biting too much, but you know, that's how it is in winter. Um, so yeah, we'll do a few videos like this, just little project videos here and there. Yeah, so let us know in the comments if you enjoyed this video or not. And I very much appreciate it if you could like, comment and subscribe. Well, thanks a lot guys. Stay tuned to watch a few more videos like this.